So I'm going to give the opportunity to speak today. Um, I'm going to share a small testimony before I get started uh, with you. Okay, so I'll take you from the very beginning. So I attended Bible study going to the SGS service, and then uh, that following week, I heard about the, uh, the prayer breakfast. So I went out with Libby, and I'm like, can you please email Sister Lavonne? I want to be at the prayer breakfast. I want to be there. So I get back to my computer, and I have an invitation from her to speak. So, you know, I was like, okay, well, I, you know, to God be the glory, I'll, I'll, I'll accept, I'll accept immediately. So, um, I started to pray about it, and I, th I think God had already given me my why before I had spoken with you to get to what you thought it should be, you thought yourself. So, I'll share my testimony for the yourself part, and then I'll share what I believe God has given me. Okay, so, just by us talking today, I just wanted to share a small story about praying for yourself. So I'm a newly married person. We've been married for a little over two years. So um, when you get married, you know, your husband, he has his, his uh, behaviors, his traits, and you have to deal with those. So for a while, I was like, God, you got to work with him. He needs work. <laughs> and then after a while, he, he continued to be himself. That's who he was. So I had to ask God to change me. So mm -hmm. as you know, for yourself, sometimes you have to really reevaluate. I guess if you want someone else to change, and ask God to change you, change my mind, Lord, change yeah. my behavior, change my thoughts. Why do I get so upset when He does X, Y, and Z? So the yourself part I would like to share is, you know, ask God to change your mind, change yourself. So that's my why for yourself. So uh, what I believe God has given me today, the why is, and I talk very fast. So let me know if I'm going too fast. I'm going to try to enunciate my words very strongly, and then maybe that will help me talk slower. Okay, so I believe God has given me the why of yelling to increase our prayer life, to strengthen our prayers. So uh, when we first think of prayers, the first prayer that comes to our mind most times is the Lord's Prayer. So, you know, the Lord gives us this example of how we should pray. When you pray, you do X, Y, and Z. So he first honors God. You know, with the Lord's Prayer, Heavenly Father, hallowed be thy name. You know, he's first honoring God. And then later on, he starts in his petitions, you know, um, give us this day our daily bread. And that's what we like to mimic when we try to pray. It kind of sets up these rules, so I feel bad when I just said, okay, Lord, this is what I want, this is what I want. I first want to honor him first, following after Jesus' example. So I think that when Jesus was giving us that example, there was nothing big going on at that time. It's what our prayers sound like on a normal day. There were no big issues, no big concerns, just what we talk to God, our, our normal prayer, what a, what a normal prayer would sound like for us. But today I want to talk about those normal, everyday situation prayers. I want to talk about some of the situations that cause us to step outside of our normal conversational voices and cause us to yell. And we see that today, as Sister Obama says, I think she raised her voice as us, so was Sister Ju Julian. Right? She raised her voice as she was as she was speaking. When we are, I guess, serious about something, emotional about something, it causes us to raise our voices. Okay, so lifting our voices, it does demand to teach those that are around us. When we raise our voices, <coughs> people become hurt. Sometimes what is said in a raised voice even if it's not true, if said with authority, people will believe you. So I want us today to strengthen our prayers with the prayer yells. The first yell I would like to consider is the call out yell. Calling out to God in our situations of trouble. The book of Psalms is full of verses where David is calling out to God. You know how David was running from Saul during the book of Psalms, and he's always calling out, Lord, deliver me, Lord, please save me. Uh, the first part of Psalms 18 and 6 reads, In my distress, I called upon the Lord. Haven't we all called upon the Lord at one time? Yes, yes. Amen. During our time of distress, we tend to speak outside of our normal voices. Most times our calls out to God start normally. You know, when we start, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need you to intervene in this situation. <coughs> but as we continue to speak, our prayers begin to build volume and our faith as we continue to pray. We begin to decree and declare things over our lives, speaking our victory with authority. 
I am more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. Yes. I am the head and not the tail. Yes. I am above and not beneath. He that is in me is he that is greater than is he that is in the world. Yes. These phrases said with the soft voice will have the same authority, but are better said with power. Yes. The next year I'd like to explore is the Shabbat. Shabbat divine means to address in a loud tone, to commend, to triumph, to exclaim, glory, or to shout. Mm -hmm. Psalms 145 and 4 states, What generation, I was drinking a sparkling water, thinking it was a regular water, it did not help. What generation shall Shabbat or praise your works to another? It shall declare your mighty acts. This verse depicts one generation Shabbat to another. I see this verse as us praying for our friends and our loved ones. At times, we can pray for our friends and our loved ones in our own prayer closet to say, you know, I'm going to pray for you. I don't know what's going on with you, but I'm going to pray for you privately. But what's even better is going and praying with our friends while holding hands. During that time, you can touch and agree, Shabbat, the Lord's acts, to encourage our sister that's in need. So not in a whisper, but in a loud voice, you can speak to your friend. And let's be honest, a lot of our prayers draw from our own experiences. So our prayers sound like this. Let's do it else. So our prayers sound a little bit like this. Do you know where God has brought me from? So sometimes God is so good that we can't control ourselves. 
So we yell like some girls, I like when you say hallelujah too. So um, Sister Bonnie yells it, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it starts, it starts to very small, but actually continue yeah. just to talk and to pray. Your, your, your prayers and your yells will, will continue to come. So um, I hope this is a very practical message. And just consider to 